We have uh, two exclusives to cover today and two multiplats to talk about. Um, like I said, for the Saturday PlayStation Legion podcast and all other PlayStation Legion podcasts, we're going to be featuring it on the PlayStation Legion Gamers YouTube channel. It's right here. All you have to do is put in PlayStation Legion Gamers. It should pop right up. Uh, it's been certified. We have all our branches here, have all our members here. Um, so I will be seeing you guys at the normal time, 1 p.m. East Coast time. Uh, what I will also do is the, uh, the PlayStation Legion podcast for this channel will be plugged into the PlayStation Legion podcast um, uh, playlist on the JTEC TV channel. Uh, but we're going to deal with this channel because it's been a, um, official and see if we can get it partnered uh, by the end of next year. Uh, so uh, help me up with that. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. We're sitting at 90 subscribers now. Might not be a lot to you guys, but it's a lot to me. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, first exclusive we're going to be talking about is Dissidia. It's an old exclusive. Uh, started out on the PSP. It only had two versions, and they were both on the PSP. Uh, it's basically like a Final Fantasy brawler. Um, I will say one... Um, one fighter, uh, two fighters from each Final Fantasy game, a good guy, a bad guy, and th then you put them in there, and then you have it. Now it's three on three, uh, still one person versus one person, but you have two additional people on your team. And um, this is the Steel Book uh, Brawler Edition. Um, it looks a little bit fancier. Let's go over here. This is what it looks like, the Steel Book Brawler Edition. Um, I think they say while WoW supplies last. So you might want to go pre-order that. This is our first main exclusive coming out uh, at the beginning of the year. Now, I, I know a lot of people say when you see this logo, it doesn't mean it's going to stay exclusive. But um, if you uh, go to the second image right there and you zoom right in, it says exclusively on PS4. Um, as you know, there's many Final Fantasy characters in this game that have never been released um, on any other platform. So, um, yes, this game is exclusive. Um there is rumors of a PlayStation All-Star game successor that's supposed to have Noxus. And if you're wondering why you haven't saw Noxus yet or whatever, it might be because he is actually in this rumored PlayStation All-Star successor. But clearly that's a video for another day. Um, there are second exclusive is Monkey King Hero is back. This game was said to only stay in China. But now it's coming to the West and clearly other countries. So I'm very excited about this. Um, it's going to be a great game. Uh, Sony Japan Studios. Same Sony of Japan that worked with Bloodborne and Demon Souls is bringing this over to the United States. And I, I just can't wait. It's going to be an awesome game. Can't wait. Um, here's our first multi-plot. It's kind of different because it used to be exclusive. But you will find out why this game went multi-plot for this version. Um, the name of this game is Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Yes, as you have guessed, it went to the Xbox One and PC because this one is going to be based off of guns, not swords. Um, I'll show you what I mean. All different types of guns. Sniper rifle, handguns, stuff like that. Um, I'm guessing this still might have co-op or whatever, but I don't know. It looks like they did real good with the engine. I like the graphics that they have. Um, I think it's still going to be third person. It seems like the environments are going to be a lot more polished and open world, but um, the anime did feature a point where they went into this uh, game called Gun Gear Online. If you come uh, to the, the link in the description, uh, you'll scroll down and see the gameplay uh, video. Um, it's pretty interesting. Our next multiplot we're going to be talking about clearly is Monster Hunter. Um, these are some pictures we're taking a look at from the brand new trailer they released today. Um... And it's just a lovely game. I do hope Xbox fans support this. Now, this game doesn't just feature guns. It has all different types of weapons. But, you know, we know Xbox fans pretty much <clears throat> just like playing shooters all the time. So, if you want to pick up a bow and arrow or a mini gun or a machine gun and that's how you just want to play through the game, I guess you can. Uh, doesn't mean you're always going to win against these type of monsters. Sometimes it takes different types of weapons. As you can see, there's an archer right here. There's a guy with an um, a axe and a shield, a big sword, and I don't know what this guy has. I can't see that clearly. He seems like he might have a some other type of long blade or whatever. Um, but, yeah, 
Um, really can't wait for Monster Hunter. I, I I just can't wait. All different types of monsters, old and new, are returning. Um, just uh, look at this. Look at this environment. It's just it's just amazing. I'm I've been hyped for Monster Hunter since I first played it in 2006, and I I just can't wait for the rest of the PlayStation community uh, to play this great game. And once again, I hope the Xbox community supports this title as well. Um, so. Uh, we're still talking about Monster Hunter. The reason why we have another page is because this page has the trailer. So if you wanted to go take a look at the trailer and from there go to the official Monster Hunter um, YouTube channel. They have a, uh, a 101 trailer about all that you need to know about Monster Hunter and how it works and how different things work. So if you're new to Monster Hunter, you think it looks cool but you don't know everything and you want to get caught up. Uh, there's a trailer in English with an English voice actor that will let you know how everything is. Um, and I know I'm speeding through this because I wanted to hurry up and get to this. Um, I've been invited to the beta for uh, the 5.0 PS4 firmware update. Um, got a couple pictures here proving that I actually have been invited. You know, some people say stuff and they don't have to show the proof, but... I'm a person that likes to show the proof, so there we go. Right there, you can see that I have been invited many different pictures right here. Um, also, thanks to my uh, my dude, uh, Weapon on Target, from the PlayStation Legion, he let me know that I can download um, Uncharted Lost Legacy. I was worrying about that because I, I, uh, I got into the very first season pass that was like 20-something dollars or something for Uncharted 4. So he said that it, I can get into it. Also, I just want to update you guys. If you have Uncharted Lost Legacy, you can play Uncharted multiplayer. You do not need Uncharted 4 to play Uncharted multiplayer. All you need is one of the Uncharted's. You do not need both of them. So if you're just getting Uncharted Lost Legacy, well, you can play the multiplayer from that game. Uh, and I thought that was very interesting and awesome. Uh, so I won't have to go just play Uncharted 4 to get the multiplayer, I can stay on Uncharted Lost Legacy and go straight to the multiplayer. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so with that being said, uh, of course, you know, pre-ordering the game, I got a brand new theme uh, that is just awesome. It's a nice dynamic theme and clearly you're looking at all the different themes that I've gotten uh, from pre-orders and other games. So I, I love my themes, and um, if wanted, I will gladly do another themes update. Um, I used to love doing those things, but not a lot of people have asked for it. But clearly, I've got a lot of themes that other people don't have, and if you think that I should start making those videos, you can let me know. I'm trying to bring back a couple old series, themes updates, um, <sighs> walkthroughs, a couple walkthrough videos on some um, certain games, and of course, like the food updates thinking about bringing that stuff back uh playstation is just getting so many exclusives uh, microsoft needs to step their game up yes they're getting some good multi-plats uh but many of the multi-plats they're getting clearly are just going to do much better on the ps4 um not sales wise but also pushing consoles uh you know because we have exclusives to go with those multi-plats we have a reason to own a ps4 um, and Microsoft needs to find a reason for people to buy an Xbox. If they don't, they're always going to be in last place. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. Guess what? <laughs>